What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Bonobos suits. Just to be upfront, I did do a paid partnership with Bonobos on the website and on Instagram. The suit I will be reviewing in this video was provided to me by Bonobos. However, this video was not included in our agreed upon scope of work for the project, so my thoughts here are completely my own, my honest opinion, no brand talking points. I wanted to do this review because I know a lot of you out there are looking for quality suits at a decent price point, and Bonobos is one of those companies that is always in the conversation, always in the mix when it comes to the $500 to $1,000 price range. I'm really thankful to have had the opportunity to work with the brand. I've also been very curious about Bonobos for a number of years. So I'll talk a little bit about the brand, go over the specific details of the specific suit that I got. I'll talk about fit, fabric, the pros, the cons, and finally, whether or not I think Bonobos is worth the money. So Bonobos was founded in 2007. The original mission of the brand was to make pants that actually fit well. Obviously that has worked out for them and they have since expanded into shirts, suits, formal wear, and a whole lot more. Everything is done online. There are brick and mortar locations around the country. However, you can't actually go in and come out with anything. They call these guide shops and the purpose is to match you with the right fit and get you up close and personal with the styling. If you like something you see, you place an order and it shows up on your doorstep. Shipping is free, whether that's to you or if you are returning it. Bonobos has been very successful over the past 10 years. As a matter of fact, in 2017, the company was purchased by Walmart for $310 million. However, you won't actually see Bonobos in a Walmart store. They are keeping it solely online with another property they own called Jet.com. All right, enough talk about the brand. Let's talk about the suit. This is the Italian performance suit in navy pin dot, which retails for $750. I got a 38 regular slim fit jacket and a 31 inch waist slim fit pants. Has two buttons, notch lapel, flat pockets, double vent, and belt loops on the trousers. Now, I did not go into Bonobos guide shop prior to ordering this suit, so I kind of took a complete gamble with the sizing. Just for reference, I am 5'9 and weigh 155 pounds. So in the past with other brands, I have generally taken a 36 regular jacket and a 30 inch waist on my trousers. Have always been kind of fine with things on the more fitted side, but as I've gotten older, I'm more interested in really proper fit and honestly comfort, which is why I decided to go a size up here. Glad I did because the fit here is actually surprisingly very, very good. In fact, when I brought the suit to my tailor to get the pants finished, he asked me two questions. The first was, where did I have the suit made? And second, where did I have the jacket and pants tailored? I mean, that's a pretty big compliment. I was honestly very impressed with the fit right out of the box. Let's talk about the jacket now. The shoulder line is very, very good. The back lays very nicely. Jacket length is pretty much perfect. Same goes for the sleeves. You can see that there is no pulling on the front button and the sides of the jacket are shaped very nicely. I would personally want the armhole to be a little bit higher, but as far as an off the rack fit, as good as this, I'm really not gonna be too picky about that. Now let's talk about the pants. These are a little more full cut than I typically prefer. I like my leg opening to be in the 13 and a half to 14 inch range. And these pants actually have a leg opening of 15 inches. It's not the end of the world for me and I could definitely have them tapered, but they are just slightly fuller than I typically wear. Which is a good segue into mentioning that Bonobos does not currently pay for alterations to any of their garments. That expense falls to you as the consumer. Next, let's talk about the fabric. Now, this is a four-way stretch Italian wool from Marzotto. It is 97% wool and 3% elastane, which means that it has a little bit of a flex to it. This definitely aids in the comfort factor. As you can see, there is a light blue pin dot in the fabric, which gives it some nice depth and texture. My tailor was actually familiar with this fabric and remarked that it is a really solid workhorse fabric. One other thing to point out is that this fabric is actually both liquid and stain repellent. We shot photos of the suit actually in a light rain and the water would just bead up and roll right off without leaving any kind of mark at all. I thought that was pretty neat. Overall, the fabric is extremely comfortable to wear. It's so comfortable, I could definitely see wearing this suit on a plane if I was traveling somewhere and needed to head right to some kind of meeting or an event of some sort. All right, now let's talk about the details. So one of the reasons I typically prefer to do made to measure or bespoke is that you have complete control over many of the important details. For me, one of the big ones is the lapel width. And with most off the rack options, I generally find the lapels to be a little too skinny. Not so with this jacket. The lapel width is pretty darn close to the three and a half inches that I typically prefer. 
One thing I really don't like about this jacket is that there are only three buttons on the sleeve and they are non-functioning, which is kind of a dead giveaway for lower quality and not much attention paid or care given to really take the garment to the next level. Kind of interesting to me because the fit is so good. Personally, with such a good fit, I really don't understand why this small detail was overlooked, but for me, this is a very, very big oversight. One kind of other weird feature of both the jacket and the pants is the presence of this hidden zipper pocket. On the inside of the jacket, there's one on either side and the pants have one down the seam of the left side, right by the left-hand pocket. Not sure exactly what this is for, Obviously, I wouldn't put anything bulky in there. Maybe good for something like a credit card or hotel key. You know, something you wouldn't want to fall out of a pocket. Kind of interesting, kind of strange at the same time. So there you have it. Overall, I think there are positives and negatives to a Bonobo suit. First, the positives. Number one, highest on the list is the fit. Really one of the most important things you should be thinking about when buying a suit. I really am still blown away by how well this suit fit me right out of the box. Next, the fabric. The fabric is very comfortable and does not look or feel cheap. Also, you have free shipping both ways and ordering is very, very simple. Now for the negatives, not that many, but the big one for me is the lack of functioning sleeve buttons. Really kind of takes away from the appearance of quality, especially given the exceptional fit. Next negative is that Bonobos does not cover alterations. $750 is not a drop in the bucket, and if you are going to have to have some sort of alteration done, like in my case, I would want to get the pants tapered, that is actually going to add significantly to the total cost of the garment. And depending on what type of alterations you need to have done, you are going to start creeping up into that like $900 price point. And at that point, I would really consider going made to measure instead of ordering with Bonobos. You're gonna have more control. You'll definitely have working sleeve buttons. And if it's a good made to measure program, you will get something for about the same price that in theory fits better. However, if you are someone who needs a suit quick and for a relatively decent price, I would definitely consider giving Bonobos a try. So if you've had any experience with Bonobos, I would love to hear it. Leave your comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored. Thank you.